So let's say you want to get an idea of what your student has to do or hasn't been doing uh, in Google Classroom. There's a couple ways to do it. I would recommend probably the easiest way is to have your student log into their account and sort of show you. And that way you're also giving them some agency in the process. And so once they log in, they'll see a list of their classes. Um, this is not a real student. This is a real sample student. So hopefully you'll see a couple classes there. Um, and then there's a button that says to do. That's a really easy one. Just click the to do button. And when you do that, you're gonna see a list of any assignments due this week for that student. And so this is what needs to happen. But it also lists anything that might be missing. Uh, missing would be thing, assignments that simply were not turned in. And so if you see uh, there's a couple things there, you also wanna click this little arrow right here. It's important to look at, was there anything last week? And then make sure you note also if it happens to say view all, which means there might be an additional thing. So I could look at last week and I could also look earlier. Um, and so and if I can view all, there's a bunch of things there. So anything in this list is something that was assigned by a teacher, but was not completed by, and turned in by that student. So again, the way to get there is from the main classes page. You just would have your student click the to do button and then go over to missing and you could see all of those assignments. So again, you've got assigned, missing and done. You could also look at the done if you're curious. Um, and you can see assignments that have been turned in and also assignments that have received a grade or a score from that teacher. So the to do list again, that's one way to see what needs to be done. Another way is to, you could click uh, actual class. So let's say you have a class and you could go to the classwork sec tab on the top. And from there, you'll see a list of all the various assignments and material that the teacher has sent out you will also notice the color of these circles on the side. If it is fill, it is a gray color, or not gray, it's grayed out, that means it does not need to be done. If it still has a color in it, that means that the student needs to submit it and it has not been finished yet. Okay, so you can kind of scroll through and you can look there. Additionally, if you want one more way to see how things are going, you could click view your work that's in a classes group tab. And then there you'll see a list of all the assignments. That's every piece of assignment along with a score and whether something is turned in or missing. Um, and again, you're really looking for those red missings. Those are one of the most important things to see. Does something need to be done there? Alternatively, let's say you would rather not log in with your student or you can't check it that to-do list with them. You could ask your teacher to be assigned as a guardian of your student. And what will happen is in that process, you'll receive an email that should look something kind of like this. And so it'll say the teacher's name has invited you as a guardian in Google Classroom. You'll need to click the accept button and you have to ask the teacher to do this. Um, and when you click the accept button, you'll get an email that should give you an option to select how often you'd like to receive a summary of your student's activity and you can choose that as weekly or daily or no summary at all. If you receive weekly, every Friday you'll receive an email that lists the work for that week and before and things that might be missing or not completed or things that are completed. If you choose daily, you'll get essentially that same email, but every day you'll get an update. Okay, so if you would like to receive those emails, again, you have to contact the teacher to be added as a guardian and more than one guardian can be added per, per a student. So again, those are the main ways to check and see is there work that needs to be completed on Google Classroom.